But I'm always glad to see you, Miss Florence. Won't you sit down? Don't get in. Now that you've finished school, Norma dear, just what are your plans for the future? Oh, Miss Florence, I'm glad to see you have such an interest in me. Now, what's my plans for the future? Why, Norma dear, don't tell me that you haven't any plans. Oh, yes. I have some plans made, but they're not, not very definite. I haven't quite decided just what I shall do. I see. Like most young girls, you want to play around a while before you settle down to business. Now, that's all right, dearie. I'm not going to scold you, but I want you to be different, Norma. You see, I've taken an interest in you. Uh, by the way, I had a letter from a friend of mine in Batesburg, only today. And they want to teach you there. I think you're just a girl for that position. Now, I have the letter with me. I'll let you read it. I'm so thankful to you, Miss Warren, for giving me this opportunity. And I'll answer this letter at once, advising them that I'll take the school. And we'll let you know what the results are as quickly as I hear from them. Very well, Norma, dear. You knew that. And, dear girl, I wish you lots of luck. I hope to see you for two.
Mary Austin? Yes, Mary Austin. Indeed I is. My daughter sings in the choir. Well, everybody around here knows Mary Austin. Oh, that's fine. Well, we should go to her house. Well, now, miss, if you don't mind, I'll show you to her house. I know just where she lives, just down the block here. Let me have your bag. I'll take you right here. Well, little girl, I know Mary very well. She used to cook for my family for years. I'll be glad to take up your house. My car is right over there. <laughs> well, what about it? Thank you, sir. I prefer to walk. Oh, Miss Mary. Mr. Washington. I know just who you're looking for. She arrived all right and inquired for you, but uh, before I could direct her to your house, uh, up walked Ballinger. Ballinger? Old man Ballinger himself. Oh, my goodness. Did this happen? Well, it just happened, Miss Mary. You know, he's usually around the station at train time, and he saw this girl get off the train. And as I was saying, before I could direct her to your house, why, you strolled into the picture. Yes, yes. And then uh, I strolled out. But before I left, I gave her the signal, and she caught on and refused to get in his car. Listen, Miss Mary, you hurry on home, and I'll show you. You'll find her there waiting for you all right. I'd like to help you, but I think Ballinger's kind of mad at me. And you know, when Ballinger's mad, he's kind of unhealthy. So you rush on home, and I'm quite sure that you'll find her there, Miss Mary. Oh, thank you, Mr. Washington, for what you've done. That's all right, Miss Mary. Um... And I do hope that you don't get into any trouble with Ballinger about it. Well, you see, I was going away for a few days anyway, so I guess now is just as good a time to leave as any. Well, so long, and I'm sure you'll find it all right. Oh, thank you, Mr. Washington. So Bye-bye. I'll see you.
Not of me, Miss Shepard. You also interest me a great deal. Indeed, I hardly expected to meet anybody down here or anywhere else like you. It's kind of you to say such nice 
think, Mr. White? It's easy. Because I know I speak the truth. You seem to sort of inspire a new confidence in me with regard to our girl. Now, uh, as to my business, I trust you'll appreciate my position when I say that it is a uh, confidential. I can't say more just now. And I hope you won't even tell anybody that I've said that much. I know I can trust you. Of course you can, Mr. White. Why, well, I don't tell no one of our conversation. In the meantime, if you let me, I'd like to tell you something. Something confidential also. Yes, uh, by all means, Norma. I mean, uh, Miss Shepard. Norma is my name. You may call me that if, if you wish to. Have you finished speaking to say? I'll be glad to. Only if you remember that mine is Alonzo. Alonzo. Let's make a blonde for short. This is easy to say. Bye. Okay, then it's understood that you're to call me Norma, and I can call you Don when we're alone. But we'll be a little in the presence of others, say for a week. How's that? Okay. Well, suppose I should forget and call you Norma at such a time. Would you agree not to be... Angry and scold you? I promise. Or I don't feel that I could ever be angry with you, Norma, or that you could be with me. This is getting interesting and wonderful. I feel the same way about you. Isn't it comforting to feel that way? Well, I don't think I ever felt quite this way towards anybody until I met you. I seem to want to put my whole life into your keeping. Tell you everything. Do anything for you. Oh, Norma. Don't say any more now, Alonzo. Let me finish what I started to. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Go on. Well, it's about this man Dellinger. I've been informed that he intends calling on me tonight. To call on you? Why, Norma, I didn't know that you... No, I never met him, Farmer Wood. But he saw me the day I arrived and spoke to me and offered to drive me to Mrs. Austin's in his car. And? Of course I refused him. I quite his eyes and the way he looked at me and will have nothing to do with him. Now, you've heard how he runs his town, and especially after every new and strange girl that comes here. Yes, I understand. And it's a rather strange coincidence. Well, I'm interested in Ballinger more than he has the least idea of. Now he plans to call on you tonight. Okay. Suppose we stroll back towards Mrs. Austin's now. And as we go, out, uh, I'll try to think of a way to entertain Mr. Ballinger when he calls on you tonight. Let's go.
I have. You take care of the bank, you can take to read but I'm in front of plan. Oh, 
Come here, little golfer. Have you got your numbers ready? And how much is your plane this morning? Oh, thank you. I'm a little golfer. And I do have so many numbers.
you must have an operation to live. And I want to share with the you by saying, you know you need to fly to the down. Then you will operate. And I can give me over in two years. But I have this job. Oh, I can't play the night up. But you did with wrong with you. That's the missing kind of time. That's the missing part of the game. The doctor can't get with you to win. You are fixing them on this day. I suggest bring them bad luck. Don't you see the two cables not paying attention? You allow them to win. And then you'll be out of the town. Think of it. Turn your dollars to the moment. Will give you eleven thousand dollars. Eleven thousand dollars only. Oh, please, I would miss away that much money. Never, never. It's going to make me marry. I'm going to play it by myself. <laughs> Something tells me that the number coming out. It's coming tomorrow. Go ahead. Baby, you know, go ahead, put it right here. That's my name. Just a chance when you have a month. Maybe a month comes to you. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a I'm willing to put my in the hospital and say goodbye. I can't do it. I'm going to do nothing. I just give it. Oh, no. I'm being tired. You're right. You are the kind of way I'm for. I'm not the same as I can. That's how it's going out tomorrow. Yeah. Just when you went to open the room, baby. Uh, 
Come on. 